<laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing and welcome back to another episode of Vanilla Minecraft on the Intrinsic Server. Hello folks, I hope you're doing really well. Now in between last episode and this one, I have been rather busy placing torches. That's right, we have got quite a few torches placed down. As you can see, it is night time here on the server. Uh, yeah, I am the only one on, so yeah, no worries about the night disappearing. But look at all this area that's been lit up. All of these torches have been placed down. I've also gone and done a bit of caving as well, so there's quite a few torches been placed underground, which is why any dark spots will automatically spawn mobs. Yes. <laughs> so there is still quite a few lot of caves down there that need lighting up, so I will be cracking on with that and whenever I've got a spare half hour, an hour, whenever I've got a bit of time. However, I have also been working on the bit of the layout for our initial base. Our base. This, of course, is going to be a large castle, keep, walled off village, town, come area. But of course, the main focus of every castle is always the keep, and I've started doing a little bit of work on that. Yes, indeed. And now it's nothing big, not yet. Anyway, it's just laying out a little bit of the footprint. And we can see that over there. Yep, there you go. As you can see, oh, Fire's playing the game. What's he playing? Space Engineers. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, we have the base of the towers. Some of the towers I've started to lay out. Now, this is just a few of them. They've got a large, they're all different sizes as well. And they are laid out in a particular, well, not a rigid format, but there is plan to them. So let's just fly on over, have a look. And come on up. So we can get a top above view. So here we go. So we have this collection of towers here. There's also one there, one there, one there, and one off to the side here. Now, this is where I could really do a potion of slow falling, but the plan is there will be a bit of an entrance wall, a wall gate here. You go into a courtyard, building here, come round, main building here. But for now, we're not, well, I'm not going to focus on that right now. We're going to take our time on this and do it bit by bit. And first of all is these towers. So yeah, we still have one, two, three, four towers to put up. And we've only got the foundations of these. And as you can see, we don't even have these properly placed because you've got stone on top of dirt. Now any good structural engineer will tell you that ain't going to last. So yeah, we need to bring these walls down and bury them in the, down to the proper stone foundations. So, you know what, I'm going to crack on and get these foundations done. Oh, hello, where did you come from? You should not have had anywhere to spawn, unless you spawned and came over this way. Hmm. There's no dark spots over here, unless he... Yeah, the tower. Okay, anyway, yeah, I'm going to crack on getting these done up to a very basic level. And then we'll come back, probably in my camera count, so we can decide on how tall these towers will be. Because they're all going to be different heights as well. The last thing we want in this castle is uniformity. Oh no. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with these. And I shall see you in a moment. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. Yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah, hi guys. I'm up here on top of this tower. Uh, can you see me? Hello. Yeah, hi. Um, so I went and got the base of all of these towers done. And as you can see, I went and, um, yeah, I built this one as well. But, like I said, like I said before, they are all going to be different heights. Um, you know what? Let's get these towers built.
right then guys so there you go that is the towers all up and in place now i've actually gone and uh, adjusted a couple of them made them a few different heights and yeah we have quite a few of these towers put up now i've gone and put some torches on top because i was getting some mobs spawning on top of them i was getting attacked by some skeletons which is rather annoying but yeah we have these towers. now this is just the basic shape of these towers i would like to point that out we're not going to be doing any of the detail work or anything like that on these towers yet until the server gets updated to 114. Because I want to be using some of the new decorative, the new blocks that we've got, particularly the stairs and slabs. So we will have to, we're waiting for that. However, I've also, whilst building these, gone and done a little bit of terraforming. If I just come on out, we now have this flat plateau just here. And we also have a few small little base towers, the foundation of the towers as well. Now, these big towers are going to represent the main keep of the castle, right? And the tower I'm stood on, and this tower over here, there's going to be a wall over there with a large gate in the middle. We're going to have a small outer wall connecting these towers up. Now, it comes around this way, and then up down and around again this area here has not been terraformed because this is going to be a little personal private garden so and then the creeper where on earth did that creeper come i, I bet he spawned on the top of that tower but yeah this area right here is going to be a little garden that we'll do this is going to be the main courtyard of the keep we're going to have a stables in here a few of uh, um miscellaneous house uh, like side the lean to houses and such like now, this part here is where the gate to the keep is going to be. Because this little formation here leads itself perfectly to a nice gradual path that we can put going up. So yeah, this is what we're... The main ideas for our keep. Nice little walled area. Little path going up to the gatehouse. Now of course, this whole base is inspired by the city of York. The walled town. So we've got the castle... And then there's going to be a wall going all the way around the town, which will be in this central area right here. And then we're going to build some sort of um, temple or something for the nether portal. That's going to be going right there, but that's going to be planned for another day. And all of our farms and everything that we're going to be producing in this area are actually going to be underground. And we're going to all we're going to have on top is a house on the street. Which has the items from that particular farm. So our cow farm is just going to have a little butcher's window. A pig farm, maybe a little, if we do have a pig farm. The wool farm will have a, will be a little sheep. Um, pumpkins, melons, greengrocers, that sort of thing. And also, I want to get a villager breeder up and running as soon as possible as well. So we can get a villager trading hall. But this is all things we're going to be doing in the future. For now, I think we're going to go ahead... And put in some of these walls to break up this area. Because the actual keep itself, like I've said, we're going to have the wall across here. And then we'll have a little bit of a mini courtyard. A building here. A couple of lean-to buildings here. A footpath coming up this way. Because this area here is going to be the main banqueting hall. That's right. So you come around. Banqueting hall area right here. So we've still got quite a bit of terraforming in this area to do. And also, this side bit here, we're going to have a little path coming down, then a steep staircase down into our own personal little dock, which has also got the additional feature of a shipwreck. That's right. So this area is perfect for a dock. We will be getting a ship in at some point. Something a bit larger than that, a bit grander, and, of course, floating, not sinking. But, yeah, that's, that's all for the future. For now, let's crack on with this cape. Get some of these walls put up. Now this terraforming was a nightmare because I've got two pet peeves when it comes to playing in Minecraft, guys. We have UFO trees. You know, when you leave one bit of wood up there so the leaves don't despawn. Yeah, I hate that. Second is when you terraform and all you do is you put a layer over the top and leave all those gaps underneath. Well, we did not do that with this. Oh no, all of this is solid cobblestone that's right this is completely filled in and if we actually come around yeah look at that 
that was a whole load of cobblestone we used to fill that in. But now we need to skim this outside of a wall. Get the walls all put up in place so we can actually see the size of this keep. So you know what guys, I'm going to crack on with that. And I will see you all. It's going to be a minute for you. I've got a feeling this might be at least a couple of days on and off. So yeah, um, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> So it's actually been, what, four days since that last clip, folks. Because don't forget, I do work full-time as well. But I have got quite a bit of work done on these walls. As you can tell, I am actually stood on a wall right now as well. But if we uh, scroll out a bit, zoom out a bit. Come on, back up. There we go. We have quite a few walls in place on the keep. So we have our main banqueting hall, get receiving hall area here this will be the private chambers up here and then these buildings down this down here will be the elite guard guide going up the stairs to the chambers so they can protect me while i'm in there <laughs> we've got a small little building on the side here the central or the main courtyard for the actual keep itself and you see we have the gate wall right there and then if we come on out, we have the wall all around this main courtyard with a gatehouse, which will have a working door in there as well. We're going to make a um, one of the falling sand gravel doors. It's going to be in there as well. And we also have some work on the private garden as well. And see, we've got to put a river that comes from a spring, flows down. We'll have a bridge over there. Then it comes on out into a little pool here. I'm thinking about might extend this pool as well, but I'm not really working on the outsides at the moment. We'd mainly start getting work on the walls. But the one thing I have done on the outside, if we come round the back, just round here, our main dock area, or our private dock area rather, as you can see, we have a gate, or it won't be a gate, it's just a hole in the wall here, some stairs running down, and eventually we'll put a would expand the dock out here when we get the ship in place or maybe we'll do the dock then put the ship in but yeah that is all out here we've gone and uh, preserved this waterfall it actually runs down behind here now and then flows out down here i am going to get some iron bars for this and the pool out front as well just so it's a bit more secure so that no infiltrators could use the waterfall as a way to get in but this has used up quite a bit of stone folks uh, yeah, I I had to uh, borrow Jeff's beacon. I went over to the corner down there, made a little strip mine, and yeah, I did some speed mining because I ran out. All that stone that we had, folks, I've run out. This must have taken, oh, I don't know, at least eight double chests of stone. Easy. But it's worth it. Don't forget, that this is just the main shape of the build. We haven't put in any detail work yet, apart from a little bit of terraforming that I've done here and leading up here as well. Done a little bit of terraforming, but a lot of this detail we're going to be putting in at a later date. Once we're updated to 114, we've got new blocks, new features, stairs and slabs that get put in. Um, I still need to try and decide what block we're going to use for these roofs, because I need something that is in stairs and slabs, but I want something with a bit of colour. Ideally we'd get stairs and slabs for concrete or the terracotta because that would give us a bit bit more colour. I don't want to go with just wood. But we'll have to wait and see on that. But yeah, as you can see, guys, we have got the main shape starting to take place for our castle now. Still a lot of work to go in. We still need to put all the detail work, all the block variation because this is just stone bricks, which, no, that ain't going to work. We need to vary that up a bit. So that's going to be a lot of work as well. We need to get this uh, front wrap put in. But again, all this outside stuff we'll probably do at a later date. But yeah, I must admit guys, I am really chuffed with how this is starting to look. So I think at some point we're going to come along and start putting a bit of the detail work in bit by bit. We'll chisel away at this job, maybe get a little bit done each week. We'll have to wait and see. But I think next episode, we may start work on some of the farms in the outlying town area, in this area here. I think maybe we'll do the villager breeder first. So we can leave that up and running. 
and try and get as many villagers as possible because eventually once this is all walled off and ideally mob proof I'd like the villagers just to be free in this town and be able to wander around but we'll have to see about that that's the that's the end game to have an actual populated town so yeah so next episode maybe the village breeder no guarantees yet but for now I love this I'm really happy with this Go big or go home, eh? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. If you have enjoyed this episode, please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Oh, well, Pat, what are you looking at? How have you turned? I haven't actually moved. What? I've been in my camera account this whole time. How was you? You should be facing this way. Um, I think my character's coming alive, guys. Anyway, for now, thank you very much for joining me. If you have enjoyed this episode, please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, all that's left for me to say is take it easy, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.